Stage 18 should have been a day for the last opportunity for the sprinters, but instead four riders got up the road and in a breakaway, taking the first of the categorised climbs of the day before having a moment where they discuss tactics with the breakaway holding them very tight to within around about two minutes. Davide Gaboro, Eduardo Affini, Magnus Court and Dries de Bont were the four riders in question. And over the second categorised climb of the day, the very steep Moro di Ciadel Poggio, after they went over the top of that climb, the four riders really pushed on. And with 40 kilometres to go, they still had two minutes advantage. That meant that the sprinters' trains had to start organising a frantic chase. Out into the Treviso circuit with 13 kilometres rema remaining, they still had over a minute. One by one, the sprinters' trains were moving closer, but also using up their resources. And within the closing kilometres, the four riders had an unassailable lead. There was a little scare within three kilometres for Jai Hindley at three seconds in the general classification, but he would ultimately lose no time since he was within three kilometres. Forced back to chase, but no harm done in the general classification after he needed a bike change. And with a few hundred metres to go, Magnus Court found himself on the front. Eduardo Affini opened up his sprint, then Dries de Bont just about found some room down the middle. Davide Gaboro and Magnus Court at this point were beaten. And Dries de Bont pushed all the way to the line by Eduardo Affini as the breakaway held on in sensational fashion from a bunch whose sprint was eluded. And in the end, it was only a sprint for fifth place, which went the way of the local rider Alberto Dianese with a demotivated Arno de Mar, Mark Cavendish and Davide Cimola taking up the minor placings. Magnus Court placed in an impossible position, having to sprint from the front. Eduardo Affini with a very, very impressive sprint. Adris de Bont leaving it late but lunging for the line. The 30-year-old rider from Alpecin Fenix. A culminating moment for him and a breakaway that was marshalled brilliantly, bluffing the peloton that they'd almost given up and then over the last 45 kilometres going full gas to hold on to the line, albeit with a slender advantage. The lunge for the line meant that Dries de Bont had finally taken a Grand Tour stage win at the age of 30. They predicted this was going to be a sprint stage. And for sure, Demar or Cavendish or uh, Bauhaus or Dainese was going to win. was written in the stars. But uh, we made a plan during the race with the four of us. And uh, we sticked all to the plan and uh, we pulled it off. Dries de Bont then stepping onto the podium for only the second big win of his career, the former Belgian national champion, beating Eduardo Alfini, Magnus Court and Davide Gaburo over the line. No significant change in the general classification now without Joao Almeida, but just three seconds between Hindley and Carapaz with three stages to go.